If it looks like I'm laughing, I am, because if I don't laugh, I'll cry. I don't know what's going on with my hair today. I decided to leave it down and now I hate it. Oh well. Greetings and salutations. Welcome back. Am I interrupting you? Am I bothering you? Welcome back to my channel. Unless you're new, then welcome. My name is Karen and this video is going to get detailed about IUDs, female anatomy, and periods. So if that's not your cup of tea, that's okay. I'll see you in the next one. So yeah, the short version, my IUD fell out. It just dropped out of my body. <laughs> if you haven't been keeping up with me, I had a surgical procedure back in the middle of May. It's called DNC, dilation and curtage, and an IUD was inserted as a preventative measure against cancer. This whole thing uh, revolved around the possibility of there being cancer in my uterus. I've made videos about them, so go check those out to get more information. I've talked about the process so far. Things have been going well and now they're not. So all of this happened last night, you know, the night before I'm filming right now. No lie, exactly one week ago, I saw the oncologist to do the checkup after the procedure and he told me what was going on and he said, hey, guess what? Everything's great. There's no cancer to worry about. However, that IUD is gonna continue preventing cancer for you. You're great, you're awesome, and you never have to see me ever again. That also meant that I did not have to get a biopsy every three months as originally planned and I was so happy about that. So as I was leaving the oncologist's office, he told me, you won't have to see me again unless something weird out of the ordinary happens with your period <laughs> like what are the odds what are the odds so how this started was a couple of days ago I was experiencing severe nausea and I knew that that was connected to a blood clot with my periods before the IUD always on day four I experienced nausea and that meant that there was a big blood clot inside of my uterus that needed to pass and just drop out once that happened I was fine the nausea went away the nausea that I experienced these past couple days has definitely been the worst because you know I knew that there was a blood clot but it wasn't passing and I didn't know why I didn't know what was going on and it was so uncomfortable and on top of that I had this sensation that my IUD may have moved I just felt something to the right of my uterus and I actually worried this was this is what's so crazy I actually worried that the IUD might be falling out and I checked on it I checked to make sure that the wire was there it was it seemed like it was fine and I just assumed okay it's the blood clot like it must be really big and it's trying to pass so we get to last night I'm getting ready for bed and I could tell that the blood clot wants to drop it does nausea washes away and I'm thinking all right everything's great so I go to check things out and clean up and that's when I notice that the wire is just out in the open it's it's sticking out where it should not be and I'm thinking to myself oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. so out came the blood clot and the IUD was right inside of it the blood clot somehow formed around the IUD and the wire everything that was in the uterus the blood clot formed around just in case there are any doubters that is the IUD that fell out of my body of course I cleaned it off um, in terms of size compared to my hand, that's how long it is. And basically that much of it was covered in a blood clot, like the length of it just wrapped around that. And I had no idea that was something that could happen. But then when I told my friends, they said, yeah, I've heard sores that it can just drop out of you. Why did nobody tell me? <laughs> I don't know if there could be any damage with the IUD dropping out because it's not like it had a spacious tunnel to drop down to. Like the cervix will dilate on your period when you know things need to pass, but it's it's not a big amount. It's not like you're going through birthing, that kind of dilation. So I do have a sensation in the vaginal walls, sorry TMI, of like them being scratched. And because the IUD has that T shape on top, so the outer edges of that T, they were exposed. They weren't covered by the blood clot. So I could totally see them scraping down as the blood clot dropped. I don't know, but I do have that uncomfortable sensation and it's not fun right now. To add on to this, after I finished filming, I started experiencing nausea and my uterus got very angry at me. <sighs> The thought of going through this again, no ma'am, 
Ah! The IUD was inserted in a surgical setting. That's not going to happen to me the second time. So if I were to have another IUD insertion, I'm pretty sure that would be in a gynecologist office setting and that's where all of the horror stories take place and that, that that's not gonna you know make me want to get a reinsertion you know it's so fitting that yesterday i actually received a bill in the mail from the hospital where the procedure took place reminding me of what my balance is that i owe them and i'm just thinking to myself can i get a pass now i mean the thing's not in me anymore but so you know is there a discount there or what because that was not a cheap procedure i can't remember who left a comment on my last video about having like such a positive outlook these days and that's something that i've been working really hard on because i grew up in an extremely negative environment where i was constantly blamed for things seeing the bright side of a situation has been really hard for me to do for a long time and i'm trying to turn that around and i know in the grand scheme of things that this this is fine things will be fixed like it'll all work out i know that i'm just frustrated even though it doesn't show it on my face because again i'm trying to be positive about all of this but i'm frustrated and i'm tired because of the past several months you know i just i wish i could get a break it feels like i can't even go one month without something going wrong and i'm tired <laughs> I would joke so much throughout my life that I am cursed, but now I'm starting to believe that it might actually be true. That is how I feel. I'm trying to push through. I'm trying to see the bright side of this situation. It's just another thing to add to the pile of mishaps and woes that is my life these past several months. So I thought this was an important update to give. Um, hopefully somebody else finds this information helpful if they're going through the IUD journey. Apparently you have to worry about the thing just falling out of your body because your uterus rejects it. It's just so funny to me to think about this in hindsight, that there was this blood clot that was just like stuck onto the IUD and the poor uterus was trying so hard to get the blood clot out, but it couldn't. And I don't know what it did, but it did something. And finally it dropped out and I lost my IUD. I have to laugh, I really do. <laughs> I did not have this IUD for even three months. It, it's not even been three months. It would have been on like August 16th. I So I didn't even make it to three months. This is like what, two and a half months that I had this IUD and everything was going fine. My biggest complaint was that I, I didn't know what was going on with the period. Like it just, it lasted so long, which, you know, I was warned about that happens, you know, for the first handful of months, but it was frustrating because I was so used to my period previously being like clockwork. So I totally think that I jinxed myself because a few days ago I actually made a comment complaining about wanting my previous period back because with that at least I knew what was going on I knew how long it lasted I knew what happened on each day I was done bada bing bada boom well be careful what you wish for apparently if uh, you have any questions if there's anything you're curious about you know leave them in the comments down below feel free to ask and that's that quick update on the IUD it doesn't exist anymore i don't know maybe will i get another one oh, we'll find out i don't even know if i really want to go through this again i guess i should read my uh, oncologist message so i'm gonna do that and i'll talk to you all later Bye bye